our dear friend B.B. Shea, who is here. Always good to have you. It's good to see you. I'm so proud of you. Just a moment ago, Kristen said, what shoes are you buying these days? He said, New Year's resolution, I cut myself off, no shoes all year. And you've made it eight months. Yeah, I haven't bought a pair yet. That is impressive because for a time, you would come in and it seemed like a A new pair pair every month. I mean, I'm looking constantly. I'm (laughs) thinking about it, but I haven't pulled the trigger on any yet. Would you call yourself a sneakerhead? I think so. I feel like I know what's going on on the streets. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm I'm plugged in. (laughs) You know how judgy I am about that. (laughs) You're wasting your money on shoes. Didn't you just buy a new pair the other day? Well, you said that. I, I have to confess something. Um, B.B. Shea said to me yesterday, as he was teaching me how to use these cameras, he said, are those new shoes? And I said, yeah, they are new shoes. Yeah. I've had them for like six months. I, I mean, they've been, it's been a while on these shoes. Mm. But you liked them. They, they look nice, yeah. You like the blue. I do. Yeah, they keep me. Uh, they keep me going. Yeah. Look they at you. You're so yeah. you're, you're so prone to lie. I know. You lie about the. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't <laughs> want to be disappointed. Yeah, like it, that is a total. And I look, we all do it. I know. But that is weird. How without without missing a beat, he I said, like, "Are those new shoes? They are." <laughs> <laughs> and like right as it comes out, you have to be in your head like these are not. I know. Yeah. And then new. I thought how awkward for me to to change it yeah. back because yeah. I know. know. I want to. I owe you an apology. I, got I, these. I do. I owe you an apology. I got these in February. I got, <laughs> I've had them for some time, and you thought, but you like them. Yeah. So complimentary. I, mean, I don't think I've ever seen you wear them. That's why I mentioned them. I, yeah, I've been we'll put them up on camera. Yeah. Let's see them. Let's see. All right. Hey, are these the same ones? The same those one. are the same I ones. Same ones. You like the blue? Yeah. You yeah. expecting a flood? Yeah, the uh, soles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The soles mm-hmm. kind of worn yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. It's been a while since I've been wearing these. And that's why you wanted the camera back. When yeah. you start showing off again like yeah. you used to with your moves. We've that's seen a lot last year. Uh, yeah. uh, that's right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so uh, these are not – I do that, too. Like, people will say something to me. I don't hear them exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll look at me quizzically like, I can't believe he laughed. And then I've got to try to figure out what they said. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, what was he talking What killed her? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Typhoid? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Thank you so much for letting me confess this to you. <laughs> what? I, I owe BB Shea an apology. I do. I'm sorry about oh, there's that. There's another one. Uh, you actually apologized. You oh, said, I yeah, did. No, I you actually said, apologize okay, the other good. Day. That's you exactly right. I accept that it. Exactly right. That's really good. Let's go to Jason, who's on to play the Big Money Celebrity Match game in here. BB Shea comes in. We have a three person match between BB Shea, Chris Dim, and Biggie, and Jason gets to fire first. Hello, Jason. How you doing? Uh, good morning, all. Morning. You can have A, B, C, or D. The way this game works is you'll pick that match game puzzle. I'll read you a sentence. Leave one word out of it. Leave it blank. You try to fill in the blank after Chris Dim, Biggie, and BB Shea have written down their answers. Match as many as you can. And Jason, which would you like? Uh, can I have B as in boy? B as in boy it is. Okay. Everyone listen closely and write down your answers. And Jason, you think about it. Danny's Diner is so sleazy. How, How sleazy, sleazy is it? All right. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Dan, so Dan, we're working things out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that was called on camera. That was that's a that's a tough one. <laughs> Danny's diner is so sleazy. They don't serve pheasant under glass. Their specialty is pheasant under blank. Think about that and write down your answer. Danny's diner is so sleazy. They don't serve pheasant under glass. Their specialty is pheasant under blank. You know, I'm of a certain age when I remember. You know pheasant under glass. I've never seen it on a menu. Never mm. seen it served anywhere. Mm. But for mm. a time, like Mink Coast, that was a symbol of wealth. high living yeah. and wealth. Yeah. Like Chris Kelly's station in life. Correct. <laughs> mink Mink Co? What did you say? Coat. Coat. Oh, 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 you know a Mink Co. I thought you were eating mink or something. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Okay. Apologies. You no. know a Mink Co. Yeah, I know a Mink Co. Yeah. yeah. Do you know Pheasant Under Glass? I'd have never heard of that. Yeah. I, I have no clue what that is. It's like, well, it's just like a really It rich. was like the that, you could only get it at really fine dining nice establishments. They may... St- Somewhere. It sounds there. English. Yeah, probably was. Under glass. Probably was. But they would serve it to your table and then, you know, open whip it the glass. Like with the cloche and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Well, you know, a cloche. Yeah. We have a cloche. Well, we, at the house? Yeah, we have a cloche not, at the house. Well, we used to. And uh, you, Did someone break it? I put my daughter on the counter when she was young and she broke it and my wife blamed me mm-hmm. for it. So ever since then. It's been like, well, oh, yeah. Once restricted. you hurt a, hit a certain pay, you must buy a clothes. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> must. We've, yeah. uh, we've replaced. Yeah. And I made jokes like, you know, cloche encounter. And that <laughs> yeah. and my wife, my wife was, too close to boy, it. That was, that was cloche. <laughs> my wife didn't care for that one bit. Okay, Jason. 
Danny's Diner is so sleazy, they don't serve pheasant under glass. Their specialty is pheasant under blank. What do you say? Uh, clean wrap, like the plastic. Saran wrap, That's yeah, good. clean wrap, clean wrap, yes. Biggie says. I didn't really know what it was, so uh-huh. I just looked for something that rhymed. I said grass. Grass, pheasant under grass. Chris Dim. I went sleazier. Yes. Pheasant under ass. Ass. Oh. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That's pheasant good. under ass. BB yeah. Shay. I said the same thing, ass. ass. Yeah, that's, yeah. What I, that's what I thought would be uh, the match here. None but, for Jason there. BB Shay, make sure you show your well, yeah, answer to the cameras now. The cameras are on now. The cameras are, on. The cameras are here. <laughs> California Chris, you are trying to just get one to beat Jason here, who did not <laughs> score. Jason, uh... <laughs> Uh, what did you put it up there? He just, held, did, for, just held it up for a for second. Screen yeah. For, yeah, okay. California Chris, how are you? Never better. Hope you all are, gentlemen. Doing real well, thanks. Would you like A, C, or D? We'll go D as in dog. All right. Just one gives you the lead. Well, this is timely. Chris Kelly is so wealthy. How, how wealthy, wealthy is he? he? Well, you fixed that problem. <laughs> <laughs> Got it together for this one, didn't you? When he runs out of firewood, Chris throws his blank into the fireplace. Chris Kelly is so wealthy, when he runs out of firewood, Chris throws his blank into the fireplace. Everyone right now, California Chris, get ready to answer. You need just one to give yourself the lead. All right, everybody's writing now. Chris Kelly is so wealthy... When he runs out of firewood, Chris throws his blank into the fireplace. Mm-hmm. All right, Biggie's uh, in there. B.B. Shea is in. Chris Dim is in. Chris Kelly is so wealthy, when he runs out of firewood, Chris throws his blank into the fireplace. California Chris, what do you say? His money, his dollar bills. His dollar bills, mm-hmm. his cash mm-hmm. into the fireplace. Biggie. I think this works. I said $100 bills. I think that's a match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a match. Mm-hmm. All right. California Chris has one. I think I'm in the ballpark. Chris I said his small bills. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think that's right. That's 20 two. and under. That's right. <laughs> 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 yeah. And BB Shay. I didn't get I said old pickle paddles. Old pickle oh. paddles. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, but that, I get it. Thank you very much, Jason, for playing. California Chris has knocked down. He's got two matches there, and that means that Tim will have to come up with two to tie and three to take the lead. He's the next player. Hello, Tim. How you doing? I'm doing good. P1 from Greenville. We appreciate your money and our economy. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. You may be uh, running into my son at some yeah, point there. T- t- three more years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you do down in Greenville? I, I do DoorDash and Instacart. Oh, well, oh my yeah. God. Oh, well you're yeah, definitely yeah. going to meet my son. School is up, <laughs> yeah, you're going to meet my son for you know, sure. I figure the conversation will go a lot like, I'm here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm outside. I'm outside. <laughs> I'm in a green car. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's my son. He's doing an impression of my son. That's right. Would you like A or C, Tim? Let's go with A. A it is. All right. Listen closely. You need two to tie, and three gives you the lead. At the chapel, Susan said, boy, you can sure tell this is a shotgun wedding. The bride is wearing a blank. About that and right down there. You're familiar with shotgun wedding, baby Shay? Yes. Yes, that means. Yes. At the chapel, Susan said, boy, you can sure tell this is a shotgun wedding. The bride is wearing a blank. Think about that, Tim. Everybody else writes down the answer. Tim in Greenville. You could be delivering food to or perhaps ordering food from my son at some point. He may be at, who knows, Jersey Mike's or Jimmy John's down there in six months. At the chapel, Susan said, you can tell this is a shotgun wedding. The bride is wearing a blank. It's not coming to you. Look, B.B. Shea is having trouble with it. Chris Dim is in. Okay, now B.B. Shea. All right. Now B.B. Shea is challenging. Biggie's in. Yeah, this is a challenge. Okay. At the chapel, Susan said, you can tell this is a shotgun wedding. The bride is wearing a blank. I think there's a couple of routes you could go here. Tim, what do you say? I'm going to go with a bulletproof vest. That's, that's one route you could go. <laughs> a bulletproof vest is good. Biggie. I was thinking that. I said baby carrier. That like one, that's the other baby. one. Yeah. That's the other one. Yeah. I didn't think about vest. I'm yep. sorry. That's yep. a good answer. I, I was thinking more on the baby side, so I said one of the milking machines. Milking machine. <laughs> Turbine. Mm-hmm. Know what you're talking about. 
Uh, Baby Shay. I thought of Baby Carrier too. I couldn't think of the name. Is it a papoose? A papoose. A papoose. Yeah. Is yeah, that a a papoose. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, they went the other route there, Tim. Thank you very much. And treat my son well down in Greenville. I'm sure he'll be delivering to him. He won't tip. Thank you, Joe. No, he's not going to tip.